Hello and welcome to my blog. I appreciate you for stopping by and tuning in. So wherever are you right now in this world, I just want to greet you good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So, uh, about my yesterday's video, I, I shared you about the love of God, that He really cares for us in our present situations, even even in, uh, in our deepest needs. Yeah, God cares for us. God wants to provide everything that we need as we come to Him. So, uh, I decided to uh, make another video again in connection to my yesterday's video. So, I decided, I decided to uh, share this Bible, Bible verse unto you from the book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 17 this was the uh, this was Jesus first words while he was still here on earth during his lifetime here on earth I should say so it says here from Matthew chapter 4 verse 17 from that time Jesus began to preach and to say for the repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand so uh, now that you know that God loves you he cares for you he cares for us he loves us so much God wants us to come to him in repentance having a humble heart that we are a sinner every day we, we've uh, as we are not a perfect person We've done some many uh, things that doesn't please God. So that's why Jesus wants us to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent means changing the way we think or changing the way we act. So now, now that you know that God loves us, He cares for us, He wants us to come to him in repentance to return to return to him in repentance having a humble heart having a repentant heart a responsive heart and yeah a receptive heart so yeah so God wants us to repent so if you've done so many uh, things that contradict to God's uh, to God's will and of course it it doesn't please him if it is contradict to his will so we know that God is a God of justice he's a just God so that's why God wants us to repent because if we don't repent from all of our sins that we had been committing for how many years ago since the day of our of our of our birth so yeah he will surely judge us according to our deeds to our every deeds so that's why Jesus wants us to come to him in repentance and uh, yeah he will surely judge us in in uh, in due time in a perfect time so I believe that you need to hear this maybe you, you you just woke up a few minutes ago and looking at your cell phone browsing your FB account and 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 st stop by tuning in about this video so I believe that you really need this nobody knows our time of death a, a lot of people right now in our in our in our pandemic pandemic situations in this world a lot of people died we hear that in the in the news and it's kind of it's kind of mind-blowing 
a lot of a lot of deaths so it's it's kind of sad for us in our behalf and now that you're still alive hearing this message i just want to tell you that god loves you he cares for you and he wants you to come into repentance as you know as you know him change the way you think if you if you worried if you feared about this deadly virus this covid-19 i just want to tell you god is alone to be feared and yeah you we have nothing to worry we will get you all of this all of this uh stops during our trying times and yeah i hope you you blurred something about this video and say it again god wants us to come to him in repentance and i hope and i pray that starting today you will live your life with a purpose you will live your life for jesus you will make things right now you will do things right now in a in accordance to god's will that will that will please him so i appreciate you again for stopping by and tuning in hope you learned something about this video and if you uh if you want to ask some questions just just message me in my messenger or or my facebook uh, facebook account and yeah as so what i've said i hope that uh you learned something about about it about this video <laughs> about this video so yeah i say it again god loves us he cares for us we have nothing to worry about our situation right now just keep trusting god he will surely provide everything that we need he will surely care for us he will surely guide us during this tough times so uh what i need to say in addition uh nothing so again i appreciate you for stopping by and tuning in about this video hope hope that you have been encouraged through this video and yeah in addition to it i just want to tell you keep seeking god and surely he will find you surely you will find him rather i should seek him with all your heart it says there in jeremiah chapter 21 verse 33 If, I, if I'm not mistaken, that if you seek me, you with all your heart, you will surely find me. That's what God says. I'm not saying anything from my own. That's what God says. So, yeah, Just keep seeking God. Keep asking God. What are that? What are those things that I need to be deal with Him? What are those things that I need to be deal with him? I need to confess before him. So, yeah. I appreciate you again for stopping by and tuning in. Hope you like this. Hope you like this video if you want. Or if you just 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 want to like. <laughs> so now uh without any wasting time I'm here at my 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 uh my current workplace and I'll be doing some stops later so for I have uh almost consumed my my break time so hope you learned something now and yeah just be positive always we know that we will get we will get through all of this all of these stops Just keep seeking God, keep trusting God. And I declare that God's provision will come unto you and your family right now while you are having your home quarantine. Yeah. So that's it for today and uh, keep safe always. 
And uh, just always be positive. Just always be positive. Feed your feed yourself, feed your mind, feed your heart with a lot of positivities through the word of God, through some words of encouragement. We need we need to hear some words of encouragement, especially nowadays. People were you know you know what I mean. A lot of people were panicking, a lot of people were worrying about their current situations, but as what I had told you a while ago. Keep trusting God. He is a trustworthy God. He is a trustworthy God. And that's it. That's it for today. Keep safe always. Adios.